Well, there's a lot of upside to living in the state of Nebraska. Yet, I mean, it's not perfect, uh -huh. and we're not just talking about the, the winter weather. Uh, retiring in Nebraska could end up costing you more. Omaha's retirement strategist with guidance for minimizing taxes in retirement, Daryl Bryant is one of Omaha's premier financial advisors and the president of D. Bryant Retirement Strategies. He also hosts the Retirement Strategies radio show on 1110 KFAB right here in Omaha Saturdays at 8 a.m. Daryl, good morning. How good are you? Morning. Good morning. Doing great. Yep, yeah, fantastic weekend. How right, about you? Taking some high school football? As usual. <laughs> yes. That's your life these days. We, we love talking to him about that. Um, as taxes go, that's what we're talking about today. How does yeah. Nebraska stack up to, I guess, the, the rest of the country? And what should retirees be mindful of? You know, people talk a lot about taxes, especially property taxes in the state of Nebraska. So, legitimate thing because we're number 45 worst, you know, in, mm. in terms of property taxes. But you have to keep things in context. If you're going to pay, uh, we have very low property values. In other words, the price to own is much lower. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you say, well, gee whiz, I'm going to move to Colorado or I'm going to move to Hawaii, which has ridiculously low tax rates, mm -hmm. but they also have a higher you know, cost of ownership, the acquisition cost is so much higher. So everything is relative. You really have to do some math. We're, we're, we're uh, number 45 in real estate taxes, that's tr true, mm -hmm. but, but the cost of ownership is lower. State and local taxes, kind of the middle of the pack in the nation, right, right at number 26, I think, in terms of state and local. But here's the thing, we are number, n Omaha, Nebraska is number seven in the nation for best places to raise a family. I've seen uh, studies where Bellevue is number one in mm -hmm. the nation, best you know, to raise a family. And the state of Nebraska overall for retirement is number 10 in the nation. The state of Nebraska, number 10 in the nation. Why? Overall cost of living, you have to factor everything in. Healthcare, percentage, percentage of sunshine, what else do they do? <laughs> oh, overall taxes, uh, crime rate, uh -huh. okay? Yeah. So we really have it very, very good here. Uh, so do the, do the whole, do all the math. Yeah, you know? complete picture. Yeah. What can we do though, Daryl? Because we joked before the break that you had some really specific things that if you are retiring or getting to that mm -hmm. point, you're thinking seriously about it, but you don't want to pay more in taxes than you have to. We're, this is all legal. <laughs> Daryl's not portion, giving a you. A portion of this is legal. <laughs> yeah, no, go ahead. Break it down. What are mm -hmm. our options, Daryl, so that we aren't paying more to Uncle Sam than we have to? Right. Things that you should be considering, uh, either acquire or uh, convert to Roth IRAs as you move toward retirement. If you're a younger viewer, then you'd want to consider uh, Roth IRAs right now or even the Roth uh, 401k if that's an option. Uh, use low cost funds and low turnover ratio funds. Number one, avoid really expensive mutual funds. That's number one. That's easy. So go to index funds, ETFs, all right, call the office if you don't know what that is, that have a low turnover rate. Why? Mike, if, you're, if your mutual fund manager is, have, is turning things over a lot, that tax burden is passed mm -hmm. right along to you, mm -hmm. okay? So that would be one thing. Other ways you can lower taxes. Hey, maybe you don't move out of state. Maybe you just downsize. That's going to reduce your taxes, you know, on your residence at retirement, lower upkeep. There are plenty of ways to reduce expenses at retirement. We talk about it every day in the office. Yeah, if you don't, uh, can we talk about planning? Because I think you have to plan properly, don't you? But to sure. avoid paying taxes to Uncle Sam, it's not like uh, you, I'm retiring next week. I'm going to do things to, you know, uh, make sure I don't pay uh, too much in taxes. But yeah. it takes some coordination, though. Indeed, yeah. So the ideal thing, we usually start seeing new clients at about 55 plus is really our, our little sweet spot, you might say, uh, because those folks are right in the red zone. We need to start shoring up or making some very critical decisions. Um, we need to start uh, developing an income plan. You need to begin to coordinate uh, Social Security and maximizing that. Mm -hmm. uh, and everything has to come together, pension settlement provisions, converting to Ross, preparing for those uh, RMDs at age 70 that you may not even know about yet, but they're coming. So there are a lot of things that have to happen. Uh, reducing expenses is one, but developing, developing an income plan mm -hmm. is absolutely paramount. You're in charge of your own pension. You know, you're going to take your life mm -hmm. savings, and then we have life after the 401k where we're supposed to now we're supposed to be our own pension manager, right. okay? Yeah. You're gonna need some help. Uh -huh. Well, the, this review could be the perfect place to start with Daryl and his team so that you really look at it. I, you don't wanna overpay, let's start to analyze this stuff. The first 10 qualified callers will receive a complimentary portfolio review. The number's there on the screen, it's 402-932-2141. And we'll hit that information a little bit later in the segment, but uh, an awesome event approaching. Daryl's hosting yes. an event just for women next week. It's a night of food, fashion, mm -hmm. finance, mm -hmm. October 25th at Noah's event venue. That starts at 6.30. And Daryl, it's going to be a fun way to learn about securing a successful retirement. Um, I guess what would you tell people that are considering going to this? 
Well, first of all, it's going to be a fun event. It's ladies only. 50 plus probably is the best mm -hmm. thing uh, there. Uh, I don't, uh, it doesn't concern me how much you know, how much you don't know about finance and so forth. This event is probably for you. Why? Chico's is going to be there, number one. Uh, you're going to have, uh, I think Beauty Co is going to be there. There's going to be some gift bags. But we're going to talk about how to successfully secure retirement. With so many ladies, it's true, so many ladies don't know a lot about their own finances going into retirement. Uh, married couples, we see it all the time. Not that hard to get involved, mm -hmm. not that hard to understand this this data, this information. So we're going to keep it kind of a 40,000 foot view, a little bit of financial talk, get to know one another just a little bit mm -hmm. and have some fun at the same time. It well, takes see, the intimidation out of it, which I would imagine for a lot of women, and, and I'm yeah. speaking from personal experience, where you look at a bunch of numbers and terms and fright and you're like, oh, my head's spinning. We call it financial ease and uh -huh. nobody, nobody speaks it, right? Uh -huh. Right. Well, seating's limited for that, so you got to call Daryl's office to get your tickets for that today, 932-2141. Uh -huh. Also, ask the strategist, if you got a question for Daryl, just send him into questions at Omaha's retirement strategist dot com. Uh -huh. And we'll show you the number again in case you want to call to reserve your spot for that summit coming up or um, and I'm guessing maybe 10 people have already called. If not, you want to jump on the line for that complimentary portfolio review. It's 402-932-2141. All right, Daryl. Thanks. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yep. See you soon. Yeah, have a great week. <laughs> thank you. Uh, guests of the morning, Blake.